So today I'm going to show you the unboxing and a review of this, uh, what is supposedly a Mestec temperature probe. Now, I don't know if you can tell from the model code down here, but this is, uh, let's say the full featured model it has ambient temperature and it also has a, a probe, humidity. So this sort of is supposed to do it all. I kind of splurged. The box is pretty nondescript. I have a vague idea of what's inside. So let's look what's inside. Okay. So we have an instruction manual. I certainly hope I don't need that. Oh, lots of blank pages there. Okay. So a few pages. Hopefully I'll be able to figure it out. There is a temperature probe here. Uh, not the usual kind of probe, but uh, we'll read out more about that. And then there's sort of a holster style pouch. And that's uh, everything in the box. The pouch is not really very soft, but that's okay. It's got a loop here that you can slip on your belt if you're so inclined. Some padding on the inside, some Velcro. Temperature probe itself. And plastic. Let's see, is there anything else inside there? Doesn't seem to be anything else inside. Nope. So here it is. Ways of radiation. Don't look into it. That's a clever thing. Um, probably have to put a battery in here. It does not come with batteries, I guess. Uh, nope. Requires two AAAs. I'll get the batteries in a second. And, uh, and then we'll see what the display looks like. A little bit of gunk there on the display. And uh, let's, like I said, it's a mess tech infrared thermometer. And it has a pretty good temperature range from minus 50 Celsius to 800 Celsius. So let's get some batteries, put it in, and try this out. All right, got two batteries in there now. Close that up. Let's just pull the trigger, turns it on. Now we can see we've got some readouts here. The uh, top reading is the ambient temperature. So it's about 19.6 Celsius here. Uh, then we've got 47% humidity. It has some sort of a deep dew point calculation, which is the third one. And then the bottom reading is the emitted or the sense temperature. So it's sensing the temperature of my thermal pad at 21.7 Celsius. And uh, the epsilon at the top is so that you can set the emissivity uh, different objects have different emissivities, different types of materials, that is. And uh, you don't, generally 95 is good for organic things and most materials, but certain materials will have a different emissivity. And the instruction booklet has a little table of different emissivities of different materials. So just Pulling the trigger activates the uh, device. Now let's have a look here. One of the things to notice is the pattern. You can see that there's a, a pattern. I'm not showing up very well on the camera. There you go. There's a pattern of spots that shows you the center and the area around which the probe is reading the temperature. So the ambient temperature here 
it's uh, saying you can't see it in the frame, but it's saying it's 19.8, almost 22 degrees. Thinks that the paper is a little bit warmer at 22 and a half. So I like the display. The display is nice and clear. It's a, it's a, it's an LCD display. Uh, you can change the mode there. So uh, that <clears throat> shows the uh, thermocouple. So this is apparently a K-type thermocouple, and you plug it in at the side right here. I'll show that in a minute. That's to adjust the emissivity. You can see it's flashing there. And so we can sort of cycle through different values. I'm just going to leave it at 95. Oops, overshot. Okay. And back to the beginning. So. Okay. So my plan is to uh, use this when I'm doing some surface mount reflow work to make sure I'm not overheating things. So uh, I'm gonna go and get some hot water so we can try out the thermocouple. But all in all, I really like the appearance of the display. It, uh, it's nice and sharp and it's bright. Uh, it's hard to get the angle quite right for the camera, but you can see that the display is very sharp and bright. And uh, crisp. So I like the way the display looks. Uh, you could sort of quibble and say that, you know, if you're using a temperature sensor, you really only need the, uh, the probe value uh, that you're sensing. But uh, having these other readouts is kind of nice. And you can see when I'm holding the probe, there's a little icon that shows up in the top corner. It shows that the laser's on the H in the other corner. After I let go of the trigger, that shows that the uh, value that's been sensed is being held. So that's the hold label. Pretty nice. I like that. It has a nice feel to it. And the other thing I want to say, I had another temperature probe and it had that sort of fake uh, rubbery feel which is really great <clears throat> for the first year. Uh, but then after <clears throat> a year or two, that rubbery feel wears off. Uh, well, actually it doesn't wear off, it gets really sticky. Uh, and then you pretty much got to rub it all off with some rubbing alcohol. Um, so this is just simple plastic. It has a, it feels fine. Um, let's look at the wall here. You can see there are lights up here at the top as well. Well, it's got a reading. So all in all, a handy little unit. Okay, I promised the K-type thermocouple. Give me a minute. Okay, so the question that we would all have is, uh, how accurate are these readings? So I have some water that was boiling. It's not quite boiling. And uh, one thing I noticed is for the thermocouple, you have to switch into the mode every time you turn it on so it doesn't retain the last mode so now i'm in thermocouple mode and if you can tell it's reading 86.3 the water's cooling and i've got here some food thermometers so this one's reading 82.8 this one's reading 83.6 and the thermocouple is reading 84.2. Well, now the food thermometers are closer to each other. Trying to move them around in the water. Maybe the water is cooling. 
let's try to keep them close together. So I've got 82.4, the water's cooling quickly. 81.9, 82, 82.2, 82.3. So the uh, thermocouple with this temperature probe is within uh, a few tenths of a degree. One degree, 81.5. So it's within one degree of the uh, of the two food thermometers, and the two food thermometers are. You know, see that one's decided it's going to go back to Fahrenheit. Okay, so the two food thermometers are within, generally speaking. A few tenths of a degree of each other. And the thermocouple is within a few tenths of a degree of the food thermometers. So uh, for accuracy, that's pretty good. Now for the infrared, I don't think I'll be able to pick up the temperature of the water. The laser will go right through. No, oh, no, not too bad. I'm not sure what I'm picking up exactly, but uh, a few degrees off. We'll have to find some surface with a good reference temperature, which is always hard to figure out in order to determine what the accuracy is. But on the thermocouple probe, in any case, uh, the accuracy is pretty decent when I compare it relative to a couple of food thermometers, so I'm pretty happy with that. Pull that out. Let's turn it off now. And uh, now the water is going to have cooled at this point. But uh, I'm picking up about 70, 69 degrees. The food thermometers are about 74. Right now I'm kind of not into the water. So I think water has a slightly different emissivity. So let's check that out. So water has a 93 emissivity. So let's adjust the emissivity here for water. Okay. Okay, so now I've adjusted to the emissivity of the water. Let's see if that gives us a different, a better reading. So, I've turned off the laser. Hold on. Okay, well, uh, let's see. So I've got 72 roughly on the food thermometers. Close to 70 degrees there. So it's about maybe two degrees off after adjusting for the emissivity of the water. Sixty-eight point two there. The food thermometers are about 70, 70 point two. Of course, I might be picking up the surface temperature if I swirl these around a little. Still 68. Yeah, so it's about a degree or two high relative to the food thermometers for that. So 
in the scheme of things, that's not too bad. Not too bad. I have to look at the specs for what the manual says. So, uh, so it says that the reading is about plus or minus one and a half percent accuracy or about two degrees Celsius. So I can kind of, uh, verify that that's the case. So it's about plus or minus two degrees Celsius. So, uh, it's within the specs. And so that's uh, that's pretty nice little device. Cost me about thirty dollars, and uh, I ordered that off of uh, AliExpress. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. That's been the uh, unboxing and review of the Meztec, as you can see, IR O two C infrared thermometer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.